Redis and time series. So time series is uh, gradually uh, becoming one of the fastest growing segment in the database industry, as you can see here according to DB engines. And no wonder, because there are many use cases for time series, uh, for time series database, for cutting edge applications such as autonomous cars, connected cars, smart homes, DevOps tools for monitoring uh, servers, networks, devices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When it comes to Redis, today we have two ways of processing time series data. The first one is combining sorted sets with hashes, and the second one is with streams. Both have many gaps in the areas of compaction, aggregation, labeling, retention rules, enhanced queries, and compression. And we wanted to fill all these gaps. So today, I'm very happy to announce Redis Time Series. Redis Time Series is a new module which was developed in Redis Labs. And to talk more about it, I would like to invite to the stage the creator of Redis Time Series, Dani Musayev. Dani. In Redis Labs, uh, we wanted to create a Redis native data structure for time series. For that, we needed sev several specific features that we must have in a production-ready time series database. Downsampling is a big feature in time series databases where you want to save long-term data but still keep it, uh, but still have small footprint in the memory. By having multiple downsampling rules on a key, you can have any aggregation that you want on a key to be automatically downsampled to a different key. Thus, you can have lower footprint on your memory size and still have long-term data. Having the data in memory, you still want to query it. Range query was not enough for us. We also wanted to have some kind of aggregated queries so you can pick whatever aggregated function that you want and query the data. So we added that. In addition to that, we also added labeling and secondary index on, the la on those labels. So now we can also query the data according to the labels and have multi-key response according to your secondary index. On top of that, each key can have its own retention rules and you can pick how much time you want to keep the data. Thus, you can make your memory footprint lower. In addition to the regular time series uh, use case, we also thought about new use case that you can use time series with. And a lot of folks use Redis today for counting. If you use incurby or decurby, you can use it with Redis time series and also have the history of your counters. You can query the latest result, the latest uh, value of your key, but you can also query the history and see your counters over time. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna talk a bit later uh, about uh, uh, more um, connectors and industry standard tools that you use with time series and now we can use that with Redis time series. And soon we're gonna release a new version with compression built in. So to wrap it up, what <coughs> we have is a Redis native a data structure for time series that each key contains several chunks. Each chunk contains several samples. Those samples are indexed with the enhanced, uh, with Radix tree, which is the, comes from the robust arch architecture of uh, streams inside Redis. And if you, if you query the data, it basically goes through the Radix tree before, the <coughs> before we get the actual timestamps. And also, the aggregated downsampling rules save the data in different keys so you can query whatever key you want and have the data as fast as you want it. We also started to work on a benchmark. As you can see from the results, we, have, uh, we are faster between 4x and 30x from other industry standard data databases. And in the coming weeks, we're going to release the code and the results, the full results of the benchmark. Okay, thank you.
Thanks very much, Danny.